Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about building a, a preference center in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So as you can see, I just show you the architecture. We will have uh, two cloud pages connected to the preference center. The first one will be uh, the front end and the second one will be the processing. And as you know, uh, like cloud page doesn't refresh automatically when once we update they when when we update them sorry so we will have to call some content block to update uh, the uh, preference center directly so we can call different version we can do some updates live so now what I will do is I will show you what we created and of course, like I already implemented it because otherwise it will take so long and I want to make this video short. So as you can see here, we have two cloud page and as you can see, it's cloud page one and cloud page two. So we have the preference center and the processing page. And uh, what is happening is that we are calling some um, <coughs> content block within the Cloud page. So as you can see here, I use content block by ID and I call the, the two content blocks. So if I just go over there, as you can see, uh, there is a different ID. So five, five and five, six. So if I do in my, if I go in my cloud page, I can see five, five and five, six. So let's say with, uh, by five first to see what we are doing. So here, basically, when I send an email with the link of my preference center, I will collect here information related to the subscriber. So subscriber key, email address, job ID, batch ID, list ID, and email name. That's the information that I collect. Uh, the subscriber will not see it, but this is something that is happening in the backend. And here we have uh, the second part. So this is the front end. This is uh, how it's look like. So as you can see here, we have some information um, and I will just go in the code here that is highlighted to, to explain you a bit. So basically what, he, what we do here is we do a check that, that there is a subscriber key uh, within the data extension. So if the person that click my email that is redirected to my preference center have a, a subscriber key, then it will pass this condition and then I will uh, associate uh, all the fields related to uh, this subscriber. So let's say subscriber 1203 uh, have, a subs have a subscriber key, then I will check in my data extension what are the other information related as email status, frequency, and if he is a subscriber of the newsletter 1 and newsletter 2. So this is the information that I get here. If it doesn't have a, uh, a subscriber key, I, I, I push an error. Okay, so after we have like basically uh, some HTML where we say uh, uh, it's a form like update your preference. And here we start a form. So this is a form. And basically once the subscriber uh, click on submit, then we will push some data to the processing page, the processing page that is uh, here. As you can see, once we submit this page, we click on submit, we push data over here. So it should be like this up. Uh, so let's come back to it. So what, what we do here is uh, basically we have um, like a loop, a while that will go into uh, a data extension that we created. And I will just show you this data extension over there. Oh, sorry. Uh, if I go in email studio, email, and basically this is a data extension that we created and the name of it is um, master subscription. This is where we can put all the subscription uh, related to a preference center. So all your newsletter will be uh, available over here, over here. So if I go in preference center and click master subscription, as you can see, I put uh, my 
two newsletter, newsletter one, newsletter two, ta ta ta, I give them a position. And basically what I will do here is that I will list uh, this, uh, this, this newsletter, this subscription into my uh, preference center. And after that, I will display it. And what we will do then is uh, we will do, we will ask the, subscri the subscriber how many uh, email he want to receive every uh, week. So he, he will have the possibility to select a frequency. And this is a variable that will be associated over here in this part of the code. And on top of that, uh, what we will do is we will uh, make sure to forward some information, to push some information to the processing file when we submit the form that are hidden. Uh, these information that are highlighted just here are hidden. So we will pass to the processing file, for example, the subscriber key, the email, the job ID, the batch ID, the list ID, and the email uh, name. So, okay. Let's say that now the subscriber click on uh, submit over there. Then we will call another file that is our PC3. So as you can see on the diagram, this is now in the processing file. So we are calling a content block three. So I will just show you in cloud page. So I have processing file and this processing file should call PC3. Uh, by ID, so it will be 557. So if I go here, I, you can see I call 557 over there. And uh, basically what I do here, and I will click on edit, and I will just show you over there. So this is not visual, as is like pure backend, basically. So here what we do is we receive the data related to, uh, to um, like we, we receive the data related to um, to the the form. When someone submits the form, he push some data. Us, we receive everything here, and we store this information into a variable. We do the same for the newsletter. So we want to know if the guy is subscribed to newsletter one or newsletter two, and we uh, we get that. We do like a true or false, and we store this information into a variable. Also, we do that uh, for the frequency, and we want to know if the checkbox unsubscribe all has been checked. Here, um, this is where uh, we play with the checkbox of the preference center. So if the guy click on the checkbox uh, subscribe for newsletter one, we will associate true. If he, if he's, if he uh, uncheck the checkbox, then we will put false, and we will um, associate that to the variable again. Uh, and here, what we will do is, is like this person click on unsubscribe uh, all, like unsubscribe me from all the newsletter, then we will uh, put false, 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 and we will put the statue of the person to unsubscribe, okay? So here, this is where uh, we will log the unsub event for, for like the overall marketing cloud system. We will, um, we will indicate if this person have clicked on unsubscribe all uh, that uh, this person is not contactable and his status in the back end of Salesforce Marketing Cloud should be uh, unsubscribe all. Here, we display the message to confirm that the person have been correctly unsubscribed or not. And here, this is where we do uh, like the overall change. So if like the person doesn't unsubscribe from everything, then we will just update each list of the preference center and associate the updated information that are referred by the subscriber. And basically here is that if um, there is an issue with the uh, subscriber key, then we will push him to another website. But that's most of it for uh, PC3. So what I will do now is I will go into my email. And as you can see, I just created a simple email template with a button. And the button uh, will take as an input my master data extension. So 
if I go uh, in my preference center folder, as you can see, I have a data extension called master subscri subscriber. And here I will say subscriber key, newsletter one, newsletter two, uh, email frequency, email address, email status. I have put myself uh, subscriber key uh, and all the information related to myself. Now, what I will do is I've populated this, this information and I will click on uh, the button, uh, the button. So I will go again, click preview and I will, I will refresh that. So I click on the button. The button is a link to a cloud page. So uh, I will just show you because it's interesting, I think. So as you can see here, it's not a link HTTP that I, I put from scratch. Uh, it's like dynamic from marketing cloud and I link to the preference center. Okay, so here I'm on the preference center. Now there is no CSS, it's raw, but like the idea is to show you. So here I can put, okay, I don't want, I want to be on the newsletter too, but not the newsletter one. And I want to receive one, two email uh, a week. I can click on submit. My preference are now updated. And uh, if I go into my, uh, so yep, my pre my preference center, my master data extension, uh, I will go in master subscriber. And here, as you can see, uh, this newsletter one will be false. Newsletter two will be true. And, uh, and uh, I will still be active. So we will do another test. One thing that we can try is, uh, let's say I want to do one and two. Tac. Okay, it's updated now. Let's go uh, to uh, to like the yeah, here in my data extension. And now I click master subscriber. Tac, record, true, true, statue active. So now I will click, I will uh, unsubscribe. And it will take time to appear in the uh, data extension, but I will do a check on the overall, like on all subscribers in Marketing Cloud, and you will see that I will be correctly updated. However, it will take a few seconds to appear in the master data extension, in the master data extension. Subscribe. Oh, and now I've been unsubscribed. So as you can see now, I'm unsubscribed and uh, what I will do is I will check in the all subscriber list. So I, I am here, all subscriber, and I will do a search. Uh, I, will, I will click on subscriber key. I will click on past. I will click on find now. And and now I should get the subscriber unsubscribe. As you can see here, I'm unsubscribe. Up. So here I can see also if I click on in story that uh, I've been unsubscribed over there. And um, and now what I would like to do is to just show you um, within uh, within like the Yep, within the data extension that uh, if I click here, record, and subscribe as well. So that's a basic preference center that is working, it's functional. So please let me know if you have any question and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.